On July 16, 2020, the United Kingdom Parliament launched an inquiry into procurement and use of armoured infantry fighting vehicles in the British Army. The House of Commons Committee on Defence commented, The Army's main battle tank, the Challenger 2, has been in service for around 20 years and has yet to receive any significant capability upgrades, leaving it outmatched by potential adversaries such as the Russian Armata tank. So how superior is Russia's Armata tank compared to the Challenger and tanks of other NATO armies such as the M1A2 Abrams? The Challenger 2 entered service with the British Army in 1998, while the M1A2 joined the US military in 1992. The Challenger 2 and M1A2 saw service during the 2003 Iraq War where they achieved success mainly against Iraqi T-72s. In comparison, the Armata T-14 was born out of studying critical failures of the Soviet-era T-72 and later the T-90. Introduced into the Russian army in 2015, it is the first major new tank developed since the Cold War and represents a marked change in tank design. The success of the all-new design compared to upgrades resorted to by the British and American armies is there for all to see. The T-14 has maintained a relatively low weight of 48 tons compared to the Challenger which weighs in at 62 tons. Firepower in the T-14 is achieved by a multi-purpose 2A821M 125mm smoothbore gun alongside self-defense machine guns. Unlike Western tanks, the Armata can fire anti-tank guided missiles, a feature continued from the T-72. Compared with 120mm cannons, the 2A821M gun offers 15-20% to improved accuracy and its rolling fire angular dispersion has improved 1.7 times. Its muzzle velocity is greater than the German Leopard's 2A6 120mm gun from Rheinmetall. Since the 1980s, NATO standard caliber for tank guns has been 120mm. To counter the 125mm smoothbore gun of the T-14, Rheinmetall moved to design a new 130mm gun in 2016. However, neither the M1A2 or Challenger 2 have yet committed to change their main 120mm armament. The Challenger 2 and M1A2 shared British Cobham armor developed decades ago. Experts assert that modern Russian anti-tank weapons can defeat this type of armor. By comparison, the T-14 Armata utilizes a defensive measure known as active protection system alongside traditional armor. The T-14 is equipped with the Stora soft kill system which utilizes infrared jammers and smoke to dazzle the guidance systems of anti-tank guided missiles. The hard kill option is provided by the Afghanit which operates by intercepting and destroying the incoming munition. The Afghanit marks the first major deployment of a Russian hard kill APS on an MBT. To date, neither the Challenger nor the M1A2 routinely operates with any APS systems. Although as of 2017, the US military has begun trailing the Israeli-made trophy hard kill system for future M1A2 upgrades. In the Armata T-14, a crew of three operates the remote weapon station enclosed in an armored cocoon that can ensure survivability even if the tank takes a direct hit from above. While retaining a diesel power plant like in the Challenger 2, substituting additional armor kits with APS systems allows for significant weight savings while not compromising survivability. The T-14 has achieved a higher power to weight ratio than either the Challenger 2 or the M1A1 Abrams which translates into superior mobility.